In this video, let's examine one of the ePortfolio tools available to faculty, instructors, and students here at USASC. In particular, let's look at Portfolium, also known as Canvas Folio. Portfolium is an Instructure product, so it's owned by the same parent company that makes our LMS Canvas. It's accessible from Canvas as Folio, but exists on a separate platform at Portfolium.com. Let's look at some of the strengths of Portfolium, or the things that it does particularly well. Firstly, it presents a professional looking profile and a skills focused collection of projects to share with peers, instructors, or potential employers. So it is a good choice for a showcase tool. It's easy to use. It has a similar user interface to popular social networking sites such as Facebook or LinkedIn, and it has good online help documentation. So self solving common user issues is quite easy. There are also many ways to customize a portfolio profile with personal visuals and content. You can upload many different allowable file types as projects to Portfolium, and you can also add external links to your project collection. Projects can be organized by using the course and skills labels, allowing for others to sort through content faster. There are some social networking features, so you can make connections with other users, and you can tag classmates on group projects. Portfolium has flexible student-controlled privacy settings, including the ability to generate a secret link to a profile or project, meaning you could share individual projects or your entire profile only with specific people. Students maintain access to Portfolium.com after they graduate. And lastly, Portfolium is fully supported by USASC ICT, giving another avenue for faculty, instructors, and students to get help if they need it. Let's look now at some of the weaknesses of Portfolium or the things that it doesn't do quite as well. Firstly, project reflection and annotation tools are simplistic, allowing just basic text descriptors. If detailed reflections are a priority, WordPress's blogging feature might be a better option. If detailed annotations are a priority, OneNote might be a better option. So see the other videos for more information on WordPress and OneNote as alternative ePortfolio platforms. The internal peer commenting tools in Portfolium are similarly simplistic. Depending on the privacy settings, comments by others are allowed on projects, but they just offer basic text responses with no comment threading. If internal peer commenting tools are a priority, OneNote might be a better option. There is no templating option with Portfolium. Instead, all profiles are arranged with a default navigational scheme. If templating is a priority, WordPress or OneNote might be better options. Profile content is exportable in that you can download all the data as a zip file, but the content is not portable to other platforms. If freedom of portability is a priority, WordPress might be a better option. There's no internal grading features worth Portfolium. And while there are some integrations with Canvas, they are fairly limited on our current installation. So there is a helpful entrance portal from your Canvas account, which can take you into your folio and your portfolio account using the same CAS authentication and single sign-on. And then there is an option to import submitted assignments from Canvas to Portfolio, but given the number of clicks required, it's just as easy to upload projects directly to Portfolio, so this option might not be particularly useful. So in terms of offering some recommendations for using Portfolio or some of the best ways to use it, to be most effectively used at the program level, consistency with incorporation into individual courses is key. Because templating is not possible, you may need to give additional and specific guidance to your students to ensure consistent portfolio presentation. So that might mean giving them specific ways to organize projects by the course and the skills labels, it might mean guidance on how to format and attach annotations and or reflections to projects. And you might need to coach them a bit on managing privacy settings and connections. In terms of providing this guidance to students, guidelines, exemplars, or mock-ups, or walkthrough videos tailored to your students and your expectations are very helpful. You might incorporate other tools like Canvas discussions or Canvas assignment submissions to support peer commenting and grading when you're using Portfolio. And help is available. So an instructional designer or other academic support specialist can help you plan to integrate Portfolium into your program or course. 
or one of these people could join a synchronous session and provide an overview for how your students can access, edit, and manage their Portfolio accounts.